you're working on an answer, find, and shade worksheet that's reviewing decimals and place value. But really quick, before we begin, we need to make a quick announcement. I'll be right back. Welcome to our video today. Before we start, I just wanted to say, we are an international company, and some countries use the comma, and others use the point as a decimal mark. But most English-speaking countries use the decimal point, so I'll use the point. I'm sorry, and I hope this is not too confusing for other learners around the world. If you are from a country that uses a comma as a decimal mark, when you hear me say decimal point, just think decimal mark, or change it to a comma. Everyone else, it's a decimal point. Let's get started. Hello there. Today you're working on an answer, find, and shade worksheet that's a level three, which means it's a little difficult, and it's reviewing decimals and place value. So basically, you should already know this, but in case you don't, I'm here for you. Let's look at the directions for the shading. It says answer all the questions before shading the picture. In other words, we answer all the questions before shading the picture. Now, since this is a place value handout or place value worksheet, it's probably a good idea to have a place value chart. And you usually can find one in your book, on the internet, or make one yourself. What I've done is, I've got one off the internet and I just pasted it right here. And let me drag this down so it can help us answer these questions. I like this place value chart because it separates things into groups. If you look closely, you can see you have the decimals right here, and everything to the right is the decimal. So you have tenths, you have hundreds, you have thousands, you have ten thousands, and I actually added hundred thousands because I think we might need it for some of the questions. And if you look closely, you see that all the decimals end in a THS, tenths, THS, hundreds, THS, thousands, and so on. So all the decimals end in a THS. And everything to the left of the decimal is a whole number. Remember, decimals are not whole numbers. They're pieces. So everything to the left are the whole numbers. If you look at the whole numbers, you can see they're separated into ones, tens, hundreds. Again, ones, tens, hundreds. Again, ones, tens, hundreds. And you might be asking, wait a second, if everything's one tens hundreds, this is getting confusing. But if you look again, you'll see everything separated into groups. The first one tens hundreds is actually in the ones group. Then the next one tens hundreds is in the thousands group. The next one tens hundreds is in the millions group. If you go a little farther, you'll be in the billions group. So it goes one tens hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds, and so on and so on forever and ever. But then they're each classified or put into a group. So when you read this, you actually have the ones, you have the tens, you have the hundreds. But then the next group is one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Then you have one millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Do you see it goes one tens hundreds, but each one has a group. And I think this makes it easier to do place value. All right, let's get started. Let me clean this all up. All right, problem one. It says, what place value is the three in? So first off, I find the decimal, which is right there. Then I take this number and I put it in our place value chart. And you see how we have the decimal right here in our place value chart? Well, I start putting in numbers. Well, I have a 7. You see the 7 right over here to the right of the decimal? And then you have a 2, 9, 3. Well, I put this in my place value chart. I just put the 7. Here's 2, 9, 3. To the left of the decimal, I have a 0 and a 2. So I have 20 and... 7,293 ten thousandths. And the question is, what place value is the 3 in? So I find the 3, which is right here, in the ten thousandths. So our answer is A. So I circle A. 
All right, this is what I want you to do. I want you to try palms two and three. Should be really quick. Press pause. When you're done, come back and we'll go over the answers. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. You were supposed to do problems two and three. Let's take a look at problem two. Problem two says four, five, six, decimal, there's the decimal point, zero, three, eight. So I take this and put it in my place value chart. Here's my decimal. Then I have zero, three, eight. And then I have a six, a five, and a four. And we're looking for what place value the three is in. And the three is in the hundreds. So our answer would be H. Problem three. We have 156.3000. Again, the decimal is right there. So I come over to my place value chart. Here's my decimal. I put 3000. To the left, I have a 6, a 5, and a 1. And the 3 is in the tenths place value. So I would circle L. Now, if this is really easy for you and you understand it, just work on the handout on your own. But if you're struggling, I'm here for you. If I'm going too fast, you can always press pause or rewind and watch the video again. Let's look at the next set of problems. Let me clean this up and drag it down so we can see it while we're working on the problems. Problem number four. Problem four says, what number do you make? Huh. So number four says, put four in the hundreds place. So I go to the hundreds place, see how it ended in a THS, and I would put a four there. So here is my hundreds place, and I'd put in a four. The next one says, put a three in the tens place. So I find my tens place right here, and I put in a three. Then it says, put six in the thousands place. So I go to thousands, you see how it ended in a THS? So it's not thousands, it's thousands, and I put a six there. Next, it says put 9 in the hundreds place, which ends in an S, so it's a whole number, and I put a 9 here. Ha! Huh, we've got some empty spaces. Well, empty spaces mean nothing, and usually for nothing we put zeros, so we put a zero here and here, and we get 930 and 46 thousandths. Did you see how I said and where the decimal is? Usually if you hear the word and when you're reading a number, it means you have a decimal. It's kind of like saying you have two pies and three pieces. Those three pieces are not a whole. They're like a decimal. So when you hear the word and when you're reading a number or you're hearing a number, it usually means there's a decimal. So we have 930 and 46 thousands, which would be answer P. So we'd circle P for answer. All right. I want you to try problems five and six on your own. Press pause. When you're finished, come back and we will check your answers. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. You are supposed to do problems number five and six. Let's take a look at problem five. Problem five says put two in the thousands place. It has a THS. So we put it over here in the thousands place. So we put two right there. It says put four in the tens place. We put four right there. Then it says put seven in the tenths place. Ooh, a THS. So that would be a decimal. It says put seven in the tenths place. So we put a seven right here. It says put eight in the ones place. And eight right there and five in the hundreds place. We put five right here. So we have 48 and 752 thousands. 48.752, which would be letter T. Number six, put five in the ones place. So I put a five right here. Two in the hundreds place. Two right here. One in the hundreds place, 
one right here, seven in the thousands place, so seven right here, three in the tens place, so we put three right here, and nine in the tenths place, so we put nine right here. So we get 135 and 927 thousands. So 135.927, which would be Y. Let's clean this up a little bit. And let me move this up so we can use it for the next set of problems. And we're looking at problems 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And the directions say match each problem to its standard form in the box below. Well, here's the box right here. We have to match the standard form. The standard form means the number, like 26, 32, 500. It's not written. It's not expanded. It's standard form, like how you normally see a number. So number 7 is actually in written form, 543 and 6 ten thousandths. So we're going to come up to our place value chart, and it says we have 500. So we put a 5 in the hundreds. Then it says we have 40. Well, 40 is a 10. Like 10, 20, 30, 40, 40. So we're going to put a 4 in the tens. Then we have three ones. And then it says we have six ten thousands. So we come over to the ten thousands, which is over here, and we put a 6. Well, again, we have all these empty spaces, which means we have nothing, so we should put 0. So our number looks like that, 543.0006. So we come down to our little box down here. We're looking for 543.006, which would be GG. So this answer is GG. Why don't you try doing 8 through 12 on your own? So press pause. When you're finished, come back to me and we can check your answers. Again, remember, if you get this, you don't have to follow along. Just do it on your own. If I'm going too fast, press stop, rewind, take your time. So if you still need my help, come back and we'll check your answers. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. We're looking at problem eight, which says we have four hundreds, five tens, three hundreds, two ones, and six tenths. So we have to put four in the hundreds place. So we put a four right there. We have five tens, so we put a five right there. We have three hundreds, we put a three right there. We have two ones, we put a two right there. And we have six tenths. So we have 352 and 64 hundreds. So I come down here and I look for 352.64, which looks like it's going to be AA. 352.64. So we are going to write AA right here, and this is AA. Problem number 9 says we have 0 .008, 30, 0 0.2, 500, 0 0.04, and 7. Ha! Huh. How can we do this? Oh, I know how to do this one. What we can do is we can write each one in its own little line, 0 .2. 0, 0, 008. Well, then it says we have 30, so I'm going to put 30 right there. Then it says we have 0 0.2. Then it says we have 500. Let me write this a little smaller so we make sure we have enough space. 500. And then right below it, I'm going to write we have 0 0.04. And then last, we have 7. And all I'm going to do is bring them all straight down to make a number. Well, we have 8 right here. We have 4 right here, we have 2 right here, we have 7 here, 3, and 5. So our number is 537 and 248 thousands. So 537.248, 537 537.248, which would give us JJ. So I'm going to write JJ for answer right there. J, J. Let me clean this up really quick. We need our place value chart to help us out. 
and we're doing problem number 10. Let's do it in blue. Problem number 10 says we have 300, 5, and 24 thousandths. So we have 300, so I find our hundreds and I put a 3. Now if you notice, there's no 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, or anything. So it means we have zero tens. Then we have five in the ones. Now there's an and, so that means the decimal. And then we have 24 thousandths. Now some people might say, hey, I'm going to put 24 thousandths like this. Well, wait a second. If we write it like this, now we're in ten thousandths. We need to make sure the numbers we write actually end in the thousands. Since four is the end, we need to put four here and then two. Then we put a zero. You see that? Twenty-four thousandths. So we have three hundred five and twenty-four thousandths, or three zero five point zero two four. It's not BB. Three zero five point zero two four, which would be II. So we put II up here for our answer. II. Let me erase this again so we don't get confused. And problem 11. Oh, it's like that one we did before where we write them in each line and we bring all the numbers downwards. Our first one is 0 0.3. Our next one is 500, which I'm going to write small so we can fit an extra one on that line. Our next one is 0 0.0007. Wow, seven ten thousandths. Then we have 30. Then we have, sorry, 30. Then we have 0 0.02. And then last we have 4. And we bring them all straight down again. So we get 7, 0, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5. 534 and 3,207 ten thousands. So we're looking for 534.3207, which would be letter DD. -D. So we put a DD -D here. It's in red. So we put DD -D here. And last problem in this group is problem 12. And problem 12 says we have three hundreds, two ones, six thousandths, and five tenths. Let me erase this really quick so we can have a nice little place value chart to write in our numbers. And we're going to have 300, so I put 300 there. It ends in an S, not a THS. We have two ones, we have six thousandths, and we have five tenths. Well, in the empty spaces, we put zeros, so we end up with 302 and 506 thousandths. 302.506, 302.506, which would be FF. So right here we put FF. All right, that's the last one in that group. Now let's look at the next group. It says place value. Which digit is in the thousands place? Huh, this is almost exactly the same as problems 1, 2, and 3. So why don't I let you try these on your own, problems 13, 14, 15, and 16. So press pause. When you're finished, come back and we'll check your answers. All right, welcome back. We're looking at 13, 14, 15, and 16. 13 says which digit is in the thousands place? So all we do is find our decimal right there between the 8 and 9. We come up to our place value chart. We have a 9 to the right. We have a 7, a 3, and a 1. Then we have an 8, 6, 5, and a 2. And we're looking for the thousands. It's a THS, so that would be the number 3. So this is 3. Number 14 says which digit is in the hundreds place. So again, we find our decimal, and it's right there. So we have a 2, a 4, a 3, a 9, and a 1. Then we have to the left, we have a 5, a 6, and an 8. And we're looking for the hundreds place, which is right there. 
that would mean the 8 is in the hundreds place. Next one, which digit is in the ten thousands place? So we find our decimal right there. We have a 3 to the right. So I put 3, 1, 4, 5, 2. To the left, we have a 7, a 9, and a 6. And we're looking for the ten thousands. THS. And here is our ten thousands, so it would be the number five. Last one, problem 16, which digit is in the hundreds place? Again, we find the decimal, and we'll have a three, two, nine, four, seven, and then a six, five, one, eight. And the hundreds place, Hundreds, THS, hundreds, right there. So we have a two. So two is our answer. All right, we only have two left. Let me clean this up really quick, and we can take a look at the last two, and we're finished. Let me drag this down a little bit so we can see the problem and the place value chart. And I brought it down. Last two problems. It says match each mixed number to its equivalent decimal. First off, equivalent means equal or the same. So we're looking for something that's equal or the same. And a mixed number. A mixed number is a whole number like 73 and a fraction. Like 8 and a fraction. So a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction together. So we're trying to find a decimal that's the same as the mixed number. Well, number 17, the whole number is 73. As you can see, B has a 73, C has a 73, and D has a 73. So let me put this in our place value chart so we can see it. We have 73. Then it says we have 42 over 1,000. Ha! Huh, that sounds kind of familiar. 42 thousandths. Ha! Huh. So it's just like saying a decimal, 42 thousandths. Again, some of you might want to put the 42 thousandths like this. But again, if you do that, now you've got the 2 and the 10 thousandths. You've gone too far. So you can't write it that way. So make sure you write it correctly. So the 2 would go right here, and the 4 would go right here, and you have 42 thousandths. So we have 73 and 42 thousandths which would be answer C. Do you notice how I read this problem? 42 thousandths. Well, problem 18, we have a whole number. Let me change the color to blue. We have a whole number of 8, and all of them seem to have the 8. And the fraction is 560 over 10,000, or 560 ten thousandths. So again, let's write this in our place value chart. We have an 8 right here, and we have 560 ten thousandths, which means it has to end in the ten thousandths. So the 0 goes here. That's the last digit. Then the 6 and the 5. 560 ten thousandths. We put a 0 there. So we're looking for 8.0560. Huh. I don't see it. Huh. Maybe the guy got it wrong. Oh, wait a second. We should know this. Remember, when we're working on decimals. We don't need this last zero if we don't want to write it. So we can get rid of this one. So really, our answer is 8.056, which would be answer E. Right there. 8.056. Ha! That was a little tricky. All right. Well, I'm done, but guess what? You're not, because you need to shade in your picture. So now you need to go through the answers, like problem number one says A, and you need to find all the A's and shade them in. Ah, there's one right there. But remember, there's probably more than one of them, so make sure you find all of them. Hope it makes a cool picture. Hope I helped, and see you next time. Bye-bye.